Right, let's have a look at the three baits I'm going to be using today and just as importantly the three ways that I'm going to present the bait because it's important at this time of the year fish are very finicky they don't really want to feed as we're already finding out today and um, this is the way that I'm going to be presenting the baits on and off so as I'm trying to sort of tempt a bite or two on the left as you're looking at it is the, the lasso rig with a scratching pellet on in the middle is um, a straightforward rig, basically like set up with two red maggots on. In fact, uh, in that middle of in that middle rig, I've actually used um, corn direct on as well, and that's what what has actually caught me the two fish. And then on the right hand side, as you look at it, is a hair rig piece of corn on the corn quick stops. So they're three good ways to present your bait in the winter time when the going is really really tough so there you go right let's have a look and see what the tackle I'm going to be using today initially I'm going to be feeder fishing with a cage feeder you see it slides up and down it's free running no fixed leads so we've got, just going to, I'm going to start off with a tiny cage feeder and I'm going to be plugging the green swim sink ground bait in there and as soon as it, I've, I sort of mix it up fairly stiff, not too sloppy so it, when it hits the water it disperses quickly and it? it's a bit of a sort of green attractant so that slides up and down, I've got which I use really a lot now, these Coron quick change beads they're absolutely fantastic because um, I can sort of I've, I'm going to be using three sort of three sort of setups, we're going to be hair rigging corn I'm going to have double red maggot as well, maybe or three red maggots or white maggots, and um, and also the setup I've got here where I've got a mid, like a lasso setup, so I can use a scratching pellet on there as well. The rod's like medium to heavy; it's a 12 foot, and today I'm using a two ounce tip, so it's not too heavy. But if I hook into, if I do go up to 16 pounds, so if I hook into something a bit decent, I can at least pull back on it as well. I've got. 8 pound line set on and also you can see I've got my drag set because they do, they won't, they don't tend to charge around at this time of the year but you do every now and then come across the lively one and if it wants to obviously pull away and take a bit of line then I'll, it will automatically do that with the rear drag set quite simple but very very effective and I've caught so many fish with this setup especially here on Bonds Lake so Let's put it into practice. <laughs> 